Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Oh, hello, hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any messages that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope reading, Cancer, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Cancer, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way, Cancer, as well. Remember to use your intuition when it comes to receiving my tarot readings, because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, honey, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe tarot cards are here, my tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes at least, are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the decision in your life, Scorpio, I almost called you Scorpio, I'm sorry, Cancer. Never making the decision in your life, Cancer, because it is your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. And with all that being said, Cancer, let's finally get into your weekly horoscope reading. So I pulled some cards like usual, Cancer. You know my usual spiel, honey. Uh, just to see where it is you guys are currently at in your current space right now, right? So let's get into this. We have the Six of Fire coming in, or the Six of Wands. We have the Page of Fire coming in, or the Page of Wands. The Knight of Water, or the Knight of Cups. Scorpio actually got this one as well, Cancer. So you could be dealing with just something that came... I never usually will do that either, uh, Cancer. Usually I kind of like roll my eyes whenever <laughs> people just be like, oh, it could be this sign, could be this sign. It's just like, well, honey, you at some point just start listing out all the signs and what have you. But I do feel sh this calling in the sense that it could, you could be dealing with a Scorpio just because it came to mind when it normally doesn't. Um, and then you have the star card, Archangel Jophiel. So if you're open to connecting with archangels, if it's uh, of resonance to your spiritual practices, whatever it is you do is none of my business, honey. I just like to let you know what it is. You can let you know your options, right? So connect to Archangel Jophiel if you're looking to uh, have some extra assistance this week, uh, Cancer. And also number 17, write down the number 8 numerology so you can look up that number later to see how it correlates uh with this reading and with how it will uh work with you throughout this current week right so give me a moment cancer so i can kind of gauge the situation for you uh truthfully cancer you guys got all extremely positive cards if you were to look up these cards individually it's nothing but positivity right uh, so let's see here. I kind of want to put this one here. We're going to put this one here, this one here. Don't mind me. I like to view Terra as like a puzzle, so I like to put them appropriately. So we're going to start with your Page of Fire or your Page of Wands, Cancer. This card says, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. I believe is how you say that word. So... This card, I always say, is my fresh start card. When you receive the Page of Wands, it's either like the desire to start like a new beginning with something, or it could just be entirely, right? You could just want to like press the reset button. But honey, honestly, who doesn't want to press the reset button after the past couple of years, darling? It's just like, shoot, honey, if I knew then what I know now. But uh, yeah, with this Page of Wands, <sighs> Cancer, I can't help but feel like this is where you currently already are. I already feel like you're making some type of money moves. I, I don't feel like I ever said that word before, even that phrase before either. But I do feel as if you guys are already in a place of um, productivity, especially with all these other extremely positive cards that we have for you. But let's just start pulling some uh, cards, uh, some clarifying cards rather, for this page of wands or this page of fire, just to see what all is going on, honey? So, let's get into this. Clarifiers we have for your Page of Fire, Page of Wands, is the King of Fire. Or King of Wands, honey. With the Magician card, and the beautiful card, honey. And the Moon card. Okay. 
now cancer this is going to be in one of two ways and you're going to know it right off the bat how which storyline this is for you how i'm translating this message is that because it's clarifying the fresh start card your page of wands this is either you pressed the reset button because of a situation that happened where it kind of like uh you know you kind of had to like pack up and go with the situation you know maybe you had to pack up and leave at a job unexpectedly maybe you thought you you had enough more time to like make some type of transition in your life or you thought you uh could just wait it out for like another week another month right before you decided to work out you know and maybe something came up that kind of like made you be like oh nope i need to start taking matters into my own hands and start uh doing something about this right uh or this could be in a situation of what's panning up to you. You And I say you'll know which side it is for you because it's like with this page of wands, honey, either you are already in the process of feeding into like this new star or you're not, right? And if you're not, this is where the moon card comes in because this is where it's like, um, regardless of what it is, I feel like with this being attached to the page of wands is just very unexpected energy, it's something you didn't see coming right because the page or not the page the moon card talks about things being revealed to you right things working under like in the shadows that you can't quite see it's kind of like letting you know you don't know the whole story so let's use an analogy for this this would be like a situation of where it's like you wake up tomorrow with like a really good email like an, of an offer that like you can take up that like allows you to just like move to a completely different country and or a different state or a different area um than where you are at currently right uh regardless what it is i do get the sense that it's uh, uh, you are having to have like a there's a greater sense of responsibility i guess is what i'll say with this situation cancer because the magician card is an energy of where taking matters into your own hands you're creating things actively right you're take, using all the tools in, in the toolbox to really allow yourself to elevate so you know some of you cancers you probably have just recently probably during the pandemic at some point even uh started getting more in tune with tarot maybe or more so with occult metaphysical practices and spiritual practices in some way you know maybe in some way for some of you guys you started dabbling into like a hobby right and it's quickly become not becoming a hobby and could be actually something that you could do long term right it's you're, you're it's almost just like you're identifying something that you can really just sink your teeth into um and really uh go the long haul with it now the king of wands is again an energy of uh, leadership right this is a card of where you are really taking charge taking command of where it is you're going and really just following uh committing with the vision right where it's like you you see where you acknowledge where it is you want to be you see the path that you need to go or even honey if you don't see the path that you need to go you create that path you blaze that trail right you become that trailblazer um but i just can't help but feel like you guys are just doing dare i say you know what i'm gonna pull some more cards here um but i don't want to get too ahead of myself <laughs> so let me talk about this knight of water or this knight of cups for you this card is uh falling in love or wedding proposal this is essentially a card of like an offer being made because as the knight of cups this is usually like a knight traveling to you with a cup filled whether whether that cup is filled with like their own emotions right their own commitment or whether that cup is filled with an opportunity for you right i do feel like this is the like that's what's lurking in the shadows or that's like what is traveling in the shadows with this moon card right if i were to kind of have it sound corny <laughs> so let's get some detail on this knight of cups though just to see what actually this entails for you let's see we're gonna even use my uh new tarot deck cancer so let me know what you feel what how you feel about it in the comments below i think it's such a gorgeous deck the artwork is gorgeous but there's not really too much you can get intuitively i feel when it comes to this deck but um no one asked for it uh, so the clarifiers i have for unite of water unite of cups 
Uh, cancer is the, let's get into, into this, is the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. Let's get into this, honey. So what is being filled in this cup? Well, if we're going to take this in, I really want to say um, this would be a situation that you initially had doubt about, but you've kept your eye on, right? Five of Pentacles with this Page of Swords energy. This is something, you know, you felt kind of outcast and you felt kind of uh, like you didn't belong in some situation or it just was one of those things you identified where it's just like right thing, right situation, just not the right timing. And so, or maybe you just weren't sure how to necessarily go about uh, taking action with something, but you've kept your eye on it, right? With this page of swords here, you've kept your eye on it. You've, uh, you've always in the back of your head have known where it is you're trying to take yourself. Even if you get lost in the sauce and just like with the dramas of it all, you know, your end goal and like what it is that you're trying to create, what it is that you're trying to, uh, bring into your life. Right? And what is it that you're trying to bring into your life? The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles comes in. Now, straight up, this really just seems to be more so speaking to a cancer of opportunity. You know, this opportunity could be, I mean, this opportunity could be coming in as like through the vessel of a person, right? So like a person offering that opportunity to you. So I do want to just say like, this is a good time just to be social and just to like be receptive, right? If someone comes up and talks to you, don't be afraid of small talk, right? Because it could look, lead to something really good. Because this with the Wheel of Fortune that comes in as a message of um, things starting to turn out in your favor, manifesting is it is that word, right? Ace of Pentacles could be is a not could is a card of very promising, a very promising bounty, and really taking life by the horns and really making the most of it. You being the one that makes it a deciding factor of how abundant a situation is going to be for you. Right? Ultimately, you are in control of it, um, I feel. So now we get into your Six of Fire or your Six of Wands. Cancer. This card says victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or awards. So whatever it is that you've been feeding, I do feel like this is a situation you've been feeding energy into already. Um, I mean, this card itself says victory, right? You can't really get too much clearer of a message in that. Um, you guys are just really on a path towards just a lot of success in whatever facet that is that you've been trying to put your energy into, whether that's success in your love life or success in your career and financial. Uh, definitely anticipate things looking up for you. So let's see what the Six of Fire even entails though. Right? How, like, what's the storyline here? What can we really get with this victory? Also, I just want to point out uh, cancer is that uh, this is a card of public recognition. It's a very good card to be having. Um, again, it talks about social situations and allowing yourself to be noticed. Um, but a very good card for my cancers that are in a business of some sort, right? Where, where, <laughs> Um, there's a direct correlation of benefit towards like the more that you're seeing, the more profitable or more abundant your situation becomes, right? So let's get into these cards right now. We have the Two of Pentacles for the Six of Fire. We have the World card coming in. We have the Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So. Mm, you're gonna have options, Cancer. I feel like you... Here's the thing. It feels like you're kind of at this place of choices where it's like, for some of you Cancers, you're just like, oh, this sounds nice over here if certain details were to work out, right? It's kind of like the situation where it's just like, oh, I would love to go to this restaurant over here, but I only want to really go if this specific ex-friend agrees to go because otherwise i'm not going to bother right this is what this is giving me right where it's just like if things are not in a specific order or in a specific way you'll wait it out because it's just like oh this is not best case scenario honey or it's just like you're putting power into like 
I don't want to say you're putting power into something because I feel like that's rude. Uh, it just feels as if like you don't really want to make a decision on something until uh, you get more. I don't want to say you get more information on something. It's just like, is this something pans out um, almost? And I feel like it's kind of a uh, clinging on to like an old cycle. You know, with this Four of Swords and this World card, this is very much so a situation of where it's like Cancer. You're probably looking at like maybe like some old situation, uh, like an old job or an old connection that you don't talk to anymore, I feel like, Cancer, where you're just like, you really are, it's like you're looking back and you're like, you know, if I walk out this door now, like, I can't come back and get you anymore. I can't include you in as a part of my life anymore. So it's like, because of the, you acknowledge this, you're just like, you keep looking back and be like, oh, is there a way that I can just, one last chance, is there a way that I can get some type of closure in this situation here? And, you know, maybe this is actually something for the long haul, right? If it's about a person being like, you know, um, giving a person a second chance or really just wanting a certain person to be part of your life when, as you continue on to something, right? But I don't feel like that's like a, end all be all for you. I don't feel as if um, you're going to just allow your life to just be at the standstill um, because the person isn't st uh, staying. I just feel like that's what's uh, keeping you from fully uh, letting go and just embracing this new beautiful path for you because you're just like looking back and like, are you sure you don't want any part in this, right? Um, am I sure that that old job is not really can I not make this old job work? Can I not make this old uh, connection work? What have you. Right. So we have finally the star card, Archangel Jophiel, number eight, right? We already talked about all that is, right? This card says, happy times, make positive, optimistic changes, long-term plans. Didn't I even say long-term plans at the beginning of the reading, Cancer? And on the right path. Overall, Cancer, a really good card to just get, right? I don't really... It's kind of like a self-explanatory card, right? But um, let's just pull some tarot cards just to see what this, if we can get any more information on this. So we have coming in the Four of Swords following you. Closure, really, it's almost as if like you need closure in some type of situation on your path before you continue moving forward. That's what it is you're searching for. <laughs> Keep chopping these cards, Cancer. You have the Lover's card as well as the Eight of Cups. So, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on this one. The Eight of Cups. So really, again, it's just such a situation where it's like, you, you, <laughs> you, and, you know, normally with Eight of Cups, it's like someone that doesn't look back. But for you, uh, Cancer, before notice, I want to point out the Moon here too, right? You had the Moon card earlier going out into that situation that we talked about, right? Especially with the Star card being on the right path and the um whatever ends up being revealed with that knight of cups right uh this is like you looking back at these eight cups and just being like i'm sure there's none those none of those cups can be brought forward with me on this journey sort of thing right and this lover's card here with the four swords yeah you're just craving closure with the situation that you initially at some point held very intimately um to your heart at one point whether it's romantic or what have you, right? It could just, like, when I say intimate, it's just a situation you uh, really cared about, Cancer. But, uh, yeah. Now, Cancer, let's just get into your uh, specific readings now. So, I'm going to be doing a um, specific reading for your love uh, and social situations, Cancer, as well as my Cancers that are interested in hearing about their financial and career situation. So, we're going to start out with uh, my cancer's love and social situation. Let's get into this. So, we have here the sun card. Okay. The sun card. The nine of pentacles. Okay. And the emperor. Okay. Okay, honey. Okay. Uh, really good for you guys' uh, social situation right now. Uh, the Sun card is the best card, uh, I feel like I said this already, but the Sun card is the best card in the deck. Uh, it's the card of ultimate abundance, ultimate manifestation. At this time, the Emperor card is a card of taking charge. Uh, let's see, is this you taking charge or somebody else? 
Queen of Pentacles, that's you taking charge because the Queen of Pentacles is very self energy. So it's very interesting though that you get the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles as well. Because I kind of associate the Nine of Pentacles as like a not a, a younger version of the Queen of Pentacles, a very self sufficient energy. So, Cancers, if you've been looking for a sign of where you're just like, oh, should I like sink energy into this situation again? Should I give this another chance? I mean, I'm seeing if you take action on, like, showing, at least in the cards, it's, like, open to you taking action, right? Very proactive action with that Emperor card. So, you know, take that as you may. Let me know what decision you end up making with that, though, because I'm curious and I'm nosy. But uh, now, let's get into my Cancers that are interested in hearing about their career and financial situation this week, right? Let's see what's going on for my Cancers financial situation. All right. Lots of cards. Oh, honey, lots of cards. So let's get into this. We have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, Page of Swords in the reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, honey. All right, honey, honey, honey. So I do feel like you guys are transitioning from something. Uh, I really get this strong desire, at the very least, with the, uh, Seven of- yeah, no, not the Seven, the- both the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. This is very much so wanting to go forward, and, like, both of these knights are the fastest-moving knights forward. You guys are ready for a change. Um, I can't help but feel like this is just a card of just, like, traveling, um, and... You know what? Cancer, I can't help but feel like you guys need to ask for a raise. You guys need to ask for a raise. Because even with the Nine of Cups, this is you taking matters into your own hands. And I can't help but feel like some of you Cancers are just feeling like you're not being appreciated or like your work isn't being paid the amount that you feel like it should. Or like something just isn't like enough is something that I'm hearing. And I feel like you need to start asking for more in some way. And especially when you read in between, like you're being, it seems as if Cancer, you would be really rewarded for being, taking a very proactive role, a very confrontational, uh, very assertive role, taking the initiative in your life this week. You would be greatly rewarded for it. But uh, yeah, that is the reading that I have for you this week, Cancer. If you enjoyed this tar tarot reading horoscope, let me know in the uh, comments below, honey. Uh, also, I do uh, the weekly tarot horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just Cancer. So if you have a friend that sends tarot, or even if they're not, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to send them my video, videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the very near future. Near future, honey. Girl, I love you so much, Cancer. Bye.